Hey folks, I just want to have a conversation today. I've been thinking about what to make a video about. Thinking about, you know, there's so many different topics, so many different things that we're working on. And I'm just like, okay, what what, what do I need to make a video on? What message do I want to send? What, what, you know, what do I want to communicate with people? And you know, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, the realistic reality about right now for me, myself, is I just want to communicate what's going on in the world. Right now, you know, not just, you know, the world, the macro world, but around, you know, you know, me, what I'm working on, you know, what you know, my teams are working on with my partners are working on just, you know, not specifically, but just kind of really give an idea to the fact that there's a lot of work going on with a lot of different people. And it's really mind blowing, to be honest with you, you know, I'm talking with people daily, day in and day out. Everyone is repositioning. I'm seeing things that we have never seen period, you know, if if you're, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, we're seeing things today that we've never seen in life. Now, they've happened in history, but we've never seen them. You know, we're going into a, a new industrial age shift, which, you know, people are like, what's that? You know, well, you know, there's only been a few of them and this is another one and they're, they're massive and they're big and they're paradigm shifting and they really make you make you really get outside of your brain and like, well, you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Nobody knows the answer. Nobody knows the answers. Well, the reality of it is the answers are we're evolving. That's the answer. We're evolving. And praise be to God, if we keep living and we keep growing and we keep structuring, the more you add, the more we're, we're evolving. So it's important for us to really get a an understanding, you know, it's, it's, it's our minds. One of the common themes that I've, I've heard over the past few years of speaking to my elders and mentors and one of the common refrains that they've made, you know, I don't care if they're white, black, you know, you know, men, women, but but the elders, they're constantly telling me there's a thinking problem. We have a thinking problem. People aren't thinking right, you know. And at first I started hearing it. I'm like, you know, well, you know. but as as I started hearing it more often from a, you know, diverse individuals that do not know each other and never will know each other, I started to give a lot of credence to the fact that, okay, this is true. We do have a thinking issue. You know, a lot of the things I'm focusing on with people are struggling just to get the thought together of, you know, what, what direction do I go? What direction do I And the reality, what we've come to, a lot of us have come to over the past few years is right now it's time for everybody to get into, you know, mastering themselves, you know, do, you know, you know, what the thing that you do, it's time for you to do that thing, you know, and don't worry about what this person's doing, what this person's doing, but do what you do. If we all are doing the thing that we do best with our personality, our skill set is set for, then, and we put that together as a collective team, that's how we grow forward. That's how we evolve. One of the biggest problems that we're faced with is everybody's trying to copy, mimic, you know, replicate what everybody else is doing. And that's been the, that's been the, the business advice. That's been the advice for the past several years, you know, you know, you know, steal somebody else's homework, do what they're doing. Well, guess what? <laughs> At the very top, I'm talking about the companies that own all the companies in the world are going through a major shuffle. You know, they're, they're changing. They, they can't, you know, they're like, don't repeat what we're doing, you know, because we have to totally pivot, you know, and they and they have, all the capital in the world to do it. And they still have to pivot very slowly because they have a lot of different interests and they got a lot of different shareholders and stakeholders. They have a lot of different hands in it. They can't just move fast and rapidly. Unlike a small businesses, we have the ability to be flexible. Right now is a great time for small business because we have the ability to be able to you know, move on a dime. Today, I thought of this. I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'm going to go ahead and pivot this way. I'm going to go ahead and pivot this way. I'm going to make this connection. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm going to try this. We have the ability of flexibility that the bigger companies do not have. And so that is part of the leverage that we possess if we understand it. But it comes back to the thinking part. You know, what are we thinking? What, what's on your mind? What, how's your mind operating in this situation that we're in culturally? You know, macro, econ economically, you know, how's your mind operating? This, this is what you have to, you know, you have to be aware. First and foremost, you have to be aware. You have to be aware of this thought. Okay, how am I thinking? How do I need to think? What do I, well, you know, what is my skill set? What am I good at? Quit trying to replicate what this one is doing, what that one's doing. Do they have the money for this? Do they have the money for that? Guess what? God is doing way more with way less. 
you know, and I'm not going to, you know, sit here and tell you, you know, I'm not going to get all, you know, um, um, go down, the, go down the, the rabbit hole or anything, but God is doing way more, way less. But trust me when I tell you, when I rewind and, and, and write the book over the past 10, 11 years, 12 years, you'll be amazed by, you know, God is going to open up doors. Once you start walking in faith, once you start pushing forward, I'm saying he's doing way more, way less because guess what? I've done more and continue to do more than anyone would do if they had the capital. What does that mean? That means most people, even if they had the capital, wouldn't get nearly as much done as I get done without the capital because, you know, the reality of it is I have faith, you know, I have true faith, but not just, you know, faith, but the more faith I have in God, the more faith I have in me and my abilities and the more faith I have in those that I deal with. And I saw so push and I push and I push and I push, even when I'm doubting. And I doubt quite often. I doubt, I doubt people. I doubt, you know, a lot of different things. I doubt myself. But, you know, I have the confidence and the reassurance to say, you know what? I'm really doing this. I'm really doing this. You know, God is really doing this. He really did that. You know, I'm really doing this. Like, this is really happening. You know, but it's, it's a paradigm shift. It's my thinking. It's my thinking. So just stop. Become aware that we have a thinking issue, you know, as you know, macroly, macroly, which means, you know, all the way across the board, even, you know, in micro groups, you know, even, you know, I was talking um, the other day, the other day, you know, with my family member and we get so dependent upon, you know, the communication that, and technology that we use that we get complacent in thinking, oh, that person is ghosting me. Oh, that person's not getting my message. Well, that person just doesn't want to, you know, talk to me anymore. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Guess what? We're using technology that's still being refined. Guess what? The message doesn't always go through. Oh, wow. The platform, oh, I, I messaged you on Facebook. Well, guess what? You know, I might have not have been on Facebook for the past week. How would I have known? And this leads to another thing. Don't depend upon the platforms to share serious information with those closest to you. Call them, physically talk voice to voice if you can't see them in person, you know, but get a physical connection in real life. Don't just depend that, okay, if somebody, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna say this from my heart. Facebook is not where I need to find out somebody close to me passed away. I'm just gonna tell you all that. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but how I feel about it is, Facebook is not where, and I know, you know, it's great. I'm, I'm not, I'm not even beating up the platform or nothing. It's not the platform's problem. It's the people problem. That's not where, and I mean, I was, I'm just great that we can keep connected and everything, but we have to understand this is not, you know, this is life and death. This is real life. We have to remind ourselves, but we get complacent. I'm guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. We get complacent and then time goes by two months, three months, you know, four months, a year goes by. I haven't seen you. I haven't heard from you. We get complacent depending upon the technology to communicate. Well, I know you've seen it. I know you had to see it. I know you had to see. Guess what? Guess what? No, I didn't. No, I couldn't. I'm, there's a good chance I even texted to you and there's a good chance you didn't receive it. And I text again and again and again and you text me back. I saw your text. Or I, saw, I see your text, I get your text, so I assume you're getting my text, when the reality of it is you may not be. It's technology. It's technology. We need to follow up. We need to get some voice to voice. You know, like, you know, when new babies are born, you know, and they got, you know, they coin a new phrase, you know, it's not new at all, but they coin a new phrase, the skin to skin, and they got to lay the baby on the, on the mother and on the father's chest, and it's really bond and everything. Guess what? That doesn't change through life. <laughs> it doesn't change through life. You have to still get skin to skin with people, you know, and as best you can, if, if there's distance, you know, voice to voice, you know, let me hear the, you know, the vibration of your voice. Let me just hear, you know, the, 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 the emotion in your voice. You know, that touches me. I can feel that. That may be all I need. The best presence I have got in the past year have just been to hear, you know, my child's voice. You know, my children's voice to hear, you know, my daughter's voice to hear, you know, my granddaughter's voice to, 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 to be able to, you know, you know, give my grandson, you know, what I'm saying a physical pound, you know, what I'm saying, and, you know, and to really, you know, just that's the best. That's the best. I mean, that's all the present I need in life, to be honest with you, myself, you know, myself, 
you know, it's that physical presence because it's so hard to get, you know, because we're all spread apart. You know, life, you know, life is lifey for all of us, you know, so we have to be deliberate about the, the communication. It goes back to the thinking. We have to understand and become aware there is a thinking problem. And in order for us to address it, we have to address it in ourselves, hold ourselves accountable. That's part of mastering ourselves, that part of mastering ourselves peace. You know, and this is all part of, it's not just, so, you know, uh, you know, and I mean, I don't even know how this video sounded. This is not an inspirational video. I mean, I'd rather be just talking about business, but it all goes together. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this is all part of business. This is all part of why it's so complicated to get business going because we've lost the human connections. You know, we've lost the ability because it's not what it used to be. You know, we, you know, we, we, we haven't got the upgrade. We haven't, you know, got the download. We haven't, we haven't upgraded our, you know, our operating system. So, you know, I mean, in our, in our, in our real lives, you know, we've updated our, 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 our telephones more than we've updated our, 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 our internal software. So this is the issue. So as we're growing forward, as we're, you know, exiting through this, 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 Second month of, of, of 2024 and time is moving fast. The first quarter of 2024 is almost in the record books. What have you gotten accomplished? What have you gotten accomplished? What have you started? What, you know, here's the thing. And I'm telling people this straight up and I'm just going to share it with you right now. If you didn't already start it previous 2023, don't start it right now. Hunker down, get with those closest to you, invest in them. If they've already been building it, invest in them. Because here's the thing, if you haven't started it yet, the environment is not conducive for you to start it. Now you have to just kind of, just really kind of drill down and kind of hunker in and, and support those that, that have already been doing the work. Because the reality of it is, is globally, the dynamics have shifted and are shifting so much that there is no on-ramp. There's no on-ramp for you. And the technologies are shifting so fast that you're already, you know, running way behind. You know, if you're not using AI every day, you're struggling. If you're not, you know, using, you know, tapping into the internet of things and tapping into, okay, what, what are they talking about? What are they doing? If, if any of what I just said to you is a foreign concept to you, you know, you really need to give it some thought because here's the reality. The boat has already left the dock. The train has left the station. You know, the, 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 the plane is already in the air. Use whatever metaphor you want to use. But the party's already started. And in order for you to grow with the party, you have to first really tap into those close connections. You know, that sphere of influence is what it's called. And really tighten that up. Really tighten that up. Not, not artificially, but sincerely and genuinely. You know, genuinely. Because I'm going to be honest with you, the only people that are dealing with me in 2024 right now are people who have been dealing with me, period. You know, in 2023, 2022, you know, previous, there's no new people. There's no new people. You know, it is what it is. There's no new people. You know, and it's not, it's not a choice. Not like I said, you know, sit down, you know, you know, it's just real. I knew this last year, though. I knew, you know, dealing with, you know, who's, who's dealing with me, who's, who's, who's gravitated towards me, who sees, who sees the vision, because here's the other part. You know, there are a lot of dynamics at play that, that make things a lot harder than they need to be. Case in point, if I initiate a conversation with you and I display, this is what we're doing. This is what I'm offering you. And on the face of it, you don't understand it and grasp it. There's other underlying reasons why, depending upon the, the messenger. Because had I been another person that delivered the same message, you'd be like, oh, I get it. But since it's coming from me, depending upon who you are, you might struggle with, okay, now, so how's that supposed to work? So, so now how are you going to do anything with, how's that going to, you know, produce, how, we, how are you going to, you're going to be made of questions. And here's the thing, those questions are just you trying to figure out how not to participate in it, how not to, you know, accept it, how not to, you know, you know, you know tap into it, how not to become a part of it because you're trying to distance yourself from it as opposed to, I get it. Here's the reality. That's all a people issue. That's all a thinking issue. And it's got nothing to do with, with, with the topic. It's got nothing to do with what I presented to you. It's got nothing to do with the product or the service. Nothing. The product or the service is great, fine, top of the line, best there is. Doesn't matter because it's coming from the messenger that it's coming from. These are thinking issues. These are relational issues. 
I can't fix how you see me other than to keep presenting me that God made me to be. I can't fix how that makes you feel. You know, I can't fix how that makes you feel. You know, I hit a lot of different categories and I, and I can only use myself as an example because I'm the best example that I have. And that is, okay, I'm a 50-year-old, 275-pound black man, lives in Indiana, born in Colorado, loves the Lord, does not party, quit drinking years ago, quit smoking years ago, struggled with, you know, eating the right food and exercising, loves his family, has a big family, doesn't really see things the way other people see them, has NVLD, oh, that's his personality, that's his character, that's in how his mind operates, oh, you see, I hit these different categories. So for me, my niche is me. <laughs> my niche is me. So those that gravitate towards me, I build these, this, 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 this. Those that gravitate toward me in this time of, of, of you know, you know, you know, personal brand, you know, um, um, importance. My brand is me. My niche is me. All I can be is me. Now, that's a lot of different categories. Now, you find me another person that fits that description that I just gave you. It's going to be rare. You know, I don't have the option of trying to cater this one, cater this, cater that. <clears throat> All I can do is be who God created for me to be. And as I work to master that, then I grow. Then I progress forward. And not before then. Have a great day. God bless you.